that all up when I get around. I've got my 20 cores across the field in random areas to represent the whole field. Take this, mix it up, and then I'll put about a pint's worth of soil in the bag. Then we also go out and we uh, sample plants. Now I, I said some of the plants, some of the nematodes are ectoparasitic, so you're going to find them in the soil on the outside of the root. Other ones will live inside the root system. So it's very important that I also collect roots. And to collect roots, I know these are small plants, I can go out and I can just pull it up. And the mistake I make is it's these fine root hairs where the nematodes are going to be. So if I do it this way, I'm not going to get a very good representation. I need to go out and get under the plant and lift it up and make sure I get that root system. And I get these fine root hairs. Then I'll take at least four of these, the five of these plants, I'll put it in the, in the bag on top of the soil, only having the top, have these in there, and they'll extract nematodes from the roots, and it'll also extract nematodes from the soil. So you get a soil, you'll get a count from both of those, and you'll have a good representation of the ectoparasitic, the outside ones, and also the endoparasitic ones.